How's it going guys? Jake here. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. It is a gorgeous day out today here in southwestern Connecticut. I just got home from a job. It took Chris and I about half a day. We pretty much had the two trees on the ground by about 10 o'clock. There's two white pine trees um, and then we just pruned up a little maple to get it out of the power lines at a buddy's house. Um, but we're back now, unloaded the tractor, I got the grapple on the front, I got the bush hog on the back, and today we're going to play around a little bit more with this new Land Pride uh, brush hog, rotary cutter, bush hog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got the thing because there's a lot of like underbrush, small saplings, vines, prickers and stuff like that surrounding the property. Um, you can probably see some here. Um, in the background and we're gonna start doing that today. So let me grab the camera, show you exactly where we're gonna be working. There's two different spots in particular that I'd like to focus on and kind of try it and learn on. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get right to it. Okay, so for those of you who did not see my last video, this is the new mini skid steer that I got. Um, it is a core mini, mini loader. It is the C1500 Spec 3. Go back and watch, I don't know even know what video it was, 98, 99, we're getting pretty close to 100, but I don't think it was video 100. Um, I did a whole video on this, played around with it for a little bit. Um, it's definitely gonna be a crucial piece of equipment for the tree work and here around the property. It's gonna be great, fit into those really tight spots that the tractor can. But um, for now, this is gonna be the first little area that I'm going to play around with the brush hog. You can see there's these little saplings and, and bushes and stuff. There's some slightly larger ones back there. Um, it's just like a flat area and believe it or not, Louie loves running up here and uh, just kind of like trotting through the leaves um, and there's a lot of ticks. So I'm gonna run through here with the brush hog and you know, see what it does. Hopefully it'll mulch up some of the leaves and then uh, cut down some of the, some of the, you know, brush and stuff. Then when it comes time in the fall to blow the leaves, it'll be a little bit easier to get them back in this area. I'm also gonna practice here just because it's relatively flat back here. Um, the other section that I want to try is over on this side, um, more closer towards the house, but it's, it is on a hill. Sarah's out here playing with Louie. Um, but this hill is what eventually I'd like to tackle, and we might get to it today, we'll see. Um, but there's a bunch of these little saplings. There's a big old stump here. There's another down limb in there that I'll have to get out with the grapple. But Louie, all the, oh. I can't throw it too far, he's on the runner. <laughs> Louis likes to play fetch. We're still working on him well, bringing, it, on it. bringing it back and letting go, but <laughs> right into the lilac. Come here. Um, but yeah, so here's all of these prickers and wild raspberry and stuff. It's, it's a mess in here. And I think the brush hog should be able to handle most of this. I mean, here's like one of the larger size saplings and I don't think that could really be much more than an inch if it is. I think this thing on the spec sheet is rated to cut like up to an inch. That would definitely be the biggest one that I'll have cut so far when I back into it. But we got a barberry bush back there. It's just a mess. I'd really like to clean it up a bit and make it a little bit more presentable, kind of like a park-like setting. So we're gonna see how it does.
before I started, but it's still kind of bulldozing all the leaves. So I'm going to raise it up and extend the top link a little bit more to kind of level it out. brush hog is winding down, but I'd say that that did a really good job. There is like nothing left here. Um, it mulched up all the leaves really nice. It cut all the little, you know, briars and stuff. Um, did a really good job. Um, I took one pass going back here and it pretty much got everything I need to reposition. And then I'll back into these little bushes here. I think it's more uh, winged euonymus there and some barberry. Um, I think this guy might be a little bit too big for the brush hog, but um, that's all right. I can always leave that or, you know, hit it with the chainsaw. But I'm actually really happy with how it mulches up all these leaves. I mean, it turns all these leaves into like almost a fine like compost kind of thing. Um, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna fire it back up. We'll keep going around here. I'm trying to avoid this little patch of, uh, I think they're daffodils that's growing here. But um, yeah, it, it's not too thick back here. It was mostly just this front little section that I wanted to get. Um, and then maybe we could try and go over on this side. guys I think the results speak for themselves this thing worked great right here I mean it just ate everything up there's like nothing left to it busting through like little rocks that were covered there was one sapling that was maybe a little bit too big but I also kind of hit it at a weird angle so I didn't want to uh, you know risk tipping the tractor but 
this thing works great. You can even get pretty close up to like trees and everything. Um, now there's a thicker section over here by the little barn in our little front side yard um, that I'm gonna bring the tractor over to now and we'll try that. There it's pretty thick and it is on a hill. So we might have to either kind of skirt it on the side or just back up and take like chunks out of it piece by piece. But let's get over there and we'll figure it out. guys this thing is amazing i can't believe it's like one of those things when i got the tractor at first i was like how have i lived 27 years without having a tractor well it was it was pretty easy i was a little kid uh, but i always wanted one and now that i got one i'm saying the same thing how have i gone all this time without using a brush hog these things are amazing i hit a couple rocks it killed the tractor at one point um, this stuff was just so overgrown. I didn't really know what was under there. There's one there You can see it nicked and one right there that it nicked. That's the one that actually shut it down um, I think because I was on the hill, but um, I mean aside from this stump that I couldn't really get any closer to this whole area is just like clear um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here with this area, but Sarah and I both agreed that it just looked pretty bad, you know, with, with all the vines and stuff encroaching on the lawn, kind of like it still is over here. In here, there are a couple bigger rocks that I'll probably have to work around, you know, with the chainsaw or something or go in with some clippers. But um, this area will probably be next at some point. Um, but yeah, this thing is working great. 
All right, guys, so I couldn't resist. I brush hogged over here by the little barn. Um, this thing's just so much fun. It's like instant gratification, and I love anything that's instant gratification. You remember in the one of the videos in the past, um, a couple back, I cut down this Euonymus bush thing here. There's still all these vines and everything back here, so I just totally decimated them. Went back in here. That's about right behind that big oak tree is the entrance to, uh, or one side of the entrance to the little road going back to where the wood yard's gonna be. So I came back here, big, nice rock here. I'd like to make that kind of a, a landscape feature. Um, it would be cool to get all those vines off of it and, uh, you know, kind of enhance that right here next to the barn. I'll have to come down and cut down these little saplings, send them through the chipper. But this thing is gonna be awesome. I mean, it just goes, it fits through a lot of places because it's not really much wider than the tractor is. And I can just kind of back it in. It cut down a pretty big sapling right here, like no problem. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just like gone. Everything that goes underneath that thing is just like gone. Um, so now I'm gonna grab the backpack blower we have a couple friends over, but Sarah kind of gave me the hall pass to play around with this thing because she knows I've been itching. And uh, I mean, I think her choice was a wise one because this makes the property look a bunch better. Just, uh, you know, when you're walking up, not to see all those ugly vines and stuff. So I'm gonna grab the backpack blower, blow all these shredded leaves back off the lawn into the woods, blow off the tractor and call it a day. guys that's gonna wrap up this video um, thank you so much to all of you who commented in my first brush hogging video um, to give me feedback on how I should set this up and adjust it I did some of the adjustments tweaked it a little bit raised up the front lowered the back a little and uh, it worked great obviously <laughs> I mean um, the, the, you know this all speak, speaks for itself this thing is amazing um, really good purchase and I think it's gonna be really helpful just around the property and both maintaining trails once we build them and helping to build trails um so yeah that's it if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button questions comments feedback put it in the comment section below and we'll see you here next time i'm jake this is dude ranch diy thanks so much for watching